Welcome to the instruction video of our Expense Tracker Spreadsheet. Our Expense Tracker Spreadsheet contains a total of three tabs. The first tab that you will find is a README page. On this page, you will find some information on how to set up the spreadsheet, as well as buttons with links to helpful pages, including our Help Desk page and our Tips and Tricks page. The next tab you will find in the spreadsheet is our Start tab. On the Start tab, you'll enter all your information, so your subcategories, categories, and accounts once, the last step that you'll find is your actual expense tracker. Once you've entered your information in your start tab, all of your subcategories, categories and accounts will load and drop down menus for you here automatically. So now that we've had a better look at the different tabs, let's set up our spreadsheet. To set up your spreadsheet, head over to the start tab. The first thing you're going to want to do is change your currency sign or abbreviation. To do this, simply double click on this field, delete the dollar sign is there by hitting the backspace button on your keyboard and replace it with a currency sign or abbreviation of your own. For example, the euro sign. Now, once you've changed the currency here and you go over to the expense tracker tab, you can see that it's been updated everywhere else. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is enter your subcategories. In total, you can add up to 80 subcategories, so you can really split your expenses here to have a better look at where your money is going and where you could save money. So let's say, for example, we add some examples like rents, Netflix, uh, let's say you also have Disney Plus. You go to the gym, have a phone that you pay for, you pay for internet, you have a car, you go grocery shopping, and you go often out for coffee. Now let's say if these are the subcategories which you have, what you can do is also enter a category for each subcategory to group them together. So let's say for example, rent and internet all relate to your house. Let's say Netflix and Disney Plus are subscriptions. You can copy these. And then let's say gym is considered a monthly bill, or you could, for example, even change this to health and beauty to group them together. Phone would be considered a monthly bill. Car would be considered transport. And let's say we also add fuel here. We also consider that transport. Groceries would be food and drinks, and so would coffee. Now, of course, you can pick whatever categories you like. So here we have just grouped them together by a larger group, which is something that would work for us. But what you could also do is, for example, categorize them or label them with how essential they are to you. So if you wanna rank them from one to five to very essential to not important at all, that way, basically, you can see how much money you're spending on the things that are essential to you and how much of your money is going towards things that are actually not that important to you. Similar, if you're using a 50, 30, 20 budget method, you can use the same to categorize them here as needs, wants, or savings, for example, could be listed as a future. So again, yes, use this in whatever way it works for you. If you don't even want to use the category section, you can, of course, also just leave that empty. Now, in addition, you also have the option to add your accounts here. So if, for example, you use a lot of credit cards and you want to see how much money you've spent on each credit card, what you could do is just list these all here. Or for example, if you want to see how much you spent from checking or from your savings or from you and your partner's card, this is of course optional too, but if you'd like, you can add this here as well. So now let's have a better look at our expense tracker. What we recommend doing is just leaving this template the way it is so you will always have a nice and clean and empty template. What we recommend doing is just clicking on this little button here and clicking duplicate to create an exact copy of this template that works the exact same way. But basically this way, every time you wanna open up a new template, you don't have to remove all your information from the transaction section here. So now what you're going to want to do is change the dates on the top left here to change the title. So let's say for example, you wanna keep track of your expenses for the month of September. You just double click on these fields and a little calendar will pop up and that will allow you to change the dates. So now we've changed it from the 1st of September till the last of September. If you'd like, you can also set a budget. So if you wanna keep track of how much you've spent or you wanna set a budget for that month, let's say $2,000, you can add that here. And on the top then, it will show you how much there's left to spend of the budget you have set. How much you've spent in your daily average will automatically be calculated for you once you start adding your information in the transaction section here below. The breakdown and the breakdown up top will also automatically update. So let's say for example, it is the 1st of September and we have spent $500 on rent and we paid from this from our checking accounts. Now it is the 2nd of September and we also went and grabbed a coffee and we paid from this from our credit card. Now that we've entered these example transactions, we can see that our left to spend section updates and our breakdown has started updating here as well. 
We've added a multifunctional breakdown. So basically all you have to do is click on this little arrow here to switch between subcategory, category, and account to see a breakdown of each of these different sections. So let's say for example, if we set this on subcategory and we enter again, we've also spent $10 on groceries on that day. And we paid from this from the second credit card. On the 3rd of September, we spent $50 for the gym that we paid for our checking account, we can see that once we add this information, this list automatically updates on the top here. We can see that once we've added this information, the breakdown will automatically update. It will also automatically rank from highest to lowest, so you can easily see what you've spent the most money on. Now, for example, if we now have subcategory, we can see that we've spent a total $570, and we can see that $500 or 87.7% .7 of that went towards rent. So now if we would navigate over to category, we can see that we can find a different breakdown. So now instead of the subcategories, we can see all of our transactions grouped together by category instead. And the last one that you can see, of course, is accounts. So this way you can easily see how much you spent for your checking account, savings, credit cards, whatever information you have entered. Now at the end of the month, once this is completed, what you can do is either rename this. So for example, if we want to say this is September, so we can easily see all of our expense trackers that we have. We can also delete this. We can hide this sheet if we want to keep it, but not have it visible to not have too many tabs at the button, or you can just leave it the way it is, of course. And for a new month, we just do the exact same thing. All we have to do is just go to the tracker again and just click on duplicate and make a brand new template for the new month. We just adjust the dates, adjust our budget, and enter our transactions. If at any point you're missing a subcategory or you'd like to add more subcategories or accounts, what you can do is just go over to your Start tab and add these here, and it will automatically update on the dropdowns that you have over here. And that is basically how our expense tracker works. If you have any other questions, I'll be sure to leave some contact information in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.